Welcome back to the Soulful Cook. Today we're going to be veganizing one of TikTok's famous food trends, lasagna soup. I love lasagna in general. I love making it for special occasions, friendsgivings, I mean, you name it. So when I tried making the vegan version of this lasagna soup, I instantly fell in love. It's so easy to put together. It doesn't take as much work as lasagna does and it feeds a large crowd. So if you're looking for an easy vegan dinner to make for a dinner gathering or just a large group, this is a perfect recipe to try. It also works really great for meat lovers. Trust me, I have a lot of meat lovers in my family and when they tried this dish, they loved it. They could not even tell it was plant-based and had no issue devouring it. I'm sure you guys will love this recipe as much as I do. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, the first thing we're gonna do is prep our veggies. I'm starting off with a jalapeno. You can also use a serrano pepper or you can um, just use chili flakes if you want less spice. I'm just using one jalapeno. And then I'm just finely chopping that up and I'm gonna keep that aside and prep my other veggies as well. Now I'm gonna take a red onion. You can use shallots, you can use white onions. It's really your preference, what kind of onion you wanna use. I'm just finely chopping these as well, so it's a little bit easier for them to cook down. And then I'm gonna take three cloves of garlic and I'm gonna just roughly chop those. You can mince these as well in a garlic press, but I like to have a like a rough bite. It just always feels good when you get a little bit of garlic in your bite. All right, so in a deep pan or a Dutch oven, I'm just gonna throw in my chopped onions and then we wanna cook those until they're soft. And while they're cooking, we're gonna add in our chopped jalapeno pepper or serrano pepper. If you don't want to use oil, you can use a little bit of water here. It will have the same effect. If you feel like it's starting to stick to the bottom of the pan, just keep adding a little bit of water at a time. I'm going to add in my garlic and saute that. Make sure you have the heat on medium so the garlic doesn't burn. And then I'm going to go in with my meat substitute. I'm using um, Guardian's Beefless Ground. You can use anything. You can use chopped up veggies or mushrooms. Um, there's plenty of options out there. And then I wanna cook those down until they're nice and soft. And then I'm gonna go in with my seasoning. So some salt, about two to three teaspoons of Italian seasoning, about two teaspoons of garlic powder, and about two to three teaspoons of red chili powder, or you can use paprika for less spice. I'm gonna let that cook for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna go in with my marinara sauce. You can use any marinara sauce that you prefer. If you don't want to use marinara sauce, then you can just use crushed tomatoes instead. Then I'm going to use four cups of really high quality veggie broth. I can't stress enough how important it is to use a really high quality veggie broth. It will either make or break this dish. Um, then I'm going to go in with about a couple cups of water just so you have enough liquid to cook the noodles. And then I'm taking my lasagna noodles and I'm just gonna break them up into small pieces. Don't break them up too small because they will shrink a little bit when they cook. I'm using gluten-free lasagna noodles here. You wanna mix them and make sure they're fully submerged. And then we're gonna cover the pot and let that cook until the noodles are about 75% cooked through. So you can see that the water has significantly reduced and our noodles are almost ready. At this point, you can really adjust the taste if you want a little bit more salt, a little bit more spice, it's totally up to you. I'm going in with about a couple tablespoons of coconut milk. 
I don't want a heavy creamy taste. I want to keep the taste of the tomato and the marinara sauce. So I only put a couple tablespoons. If you want more, you can put a little bit more. And then we're gonna let that cook until the noodles are fully cooked. And enjoy. And there you have it, a super easy vegan version of the viral lasagna soup. What I love is this dish came together so beautifully in just one pot. Minimal dishes, minimal work. It's perfect for those days when you come back from work and you don't feel like spending too much time in the kitchen. Okay, let's take a bite. This looks so good. I like mine a little bit on the hearty and thicker side. I don't like it too soupy and too watery, but you can always adjust the consistency as you feel fit. Look at that. I love how easy these noodles are to cook. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I love this. It's spicy enough because I like spice, but you can easily reduce the amount of spice you use in this. The tomato sauce that I used is actually marinara sauce, which adds a really nice flavor. And then the veggie broth, because I use a really high quality veggie broth, it adds so much more flavor and just creates more depth in this recipe. It's so good. This recipe is actually perfect for anyone, any kind of dietary restriction, any kind of dietary preference. Perfect for kids, perfect for everyone. It's so good. If you like recipes like this one, be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch our other favorite pasta dishes. If you're looking for the detailed version of this recipe, I'll link it down in the description box below, but you can also find it at my website at thesoulfulcook.com. If you're looking for any other kind of pasta dishes, let me know in the comments below so I can make sure to get that to you. All the products I use in this video are also linked down below and you can also find them on my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.